Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome to another episode. And today we're gonna to look at the CK Worldwide torches that I got sent in the mail. Thanks a lot for tuning into the channel today. This is another episode from Pacific Arc TIG Welding. My name is Dusty. To all the arc heads who watch the show every week, what's up, welcome back. To anybody that may be new to the channel, welcome. I encourage you to bounce back and check out a lot of the videos on my channel uh, previous to this one. We do everything TIG welding related. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is TIG welding art. Uh, I do all kinds of crazy TIG, or at least I think they're crazy, TIG welding art pieces. Uh, I spend a lot of hours doing them and uh, let my imagination go crazy. As well, we do uh, TIG welding demos. We do gear breakdowns gear reviews and stuff like that, kind of what we're doing today. So if you're new to the channel and you enjoy that kind of stuff, please be sure to bounce back and check out the other stuff. So today let's talk TIG torches. So I got hit up by Peter at CK Worldwide. Shout out to you, Peter. Thanks very much for hitting me up. And uh, he offered to send me a torch setup with a couple interchangeable heads uh, just to give it a whirl and let everybody know what I thought about it. Spoiler alert. I love it, it's awesome. It's seriously a, a really, really nice little setup, but uh, what we'll do is we'll break it down a little bit more today, and then uh, you can bounce on over, uh, check out their website. I'll put it on screen right now, you can check it out. Uh, they got every, it's like a toy store for anybody that TIG wells. They got literally everything on there, all kinds of consumables, they got clothing, uh, they sent me this t-shirt uh, and a hat, uh, so shout out to you, I really, really appreciate it. It's super nice. Uh, they just hit me up just for the sake of being kind. I'm not getting paid by them or anything like that. This is just strictly out of their generosity. And I just wanted to show uh, everybody who's watching what I think of their stuff. Hit them up, say what's up. Uh, if you never heard of them before for some reason, uh, send them a message, uh, tell them I sent you. <laughs> but uh, anyway, check them out. Everything that you need on there as far as TIG torches, gas lenses, uh, all kinds of consumables, clothing, like I said. And yeah, everything on their website is really, really dope. They have a lot of cool stuff on there as far as literature and brochures. You can print off a lot of brochures about their catalogs. You can print off brochures about how to use uh, certain TIG torch setups, uh, different gear setups and things like that. A lot of literature on their website as well. You can go on there and check out uh, download PDFs, it looks like, and print them off for yourself. Uh, they have a new TIG machine. Uh, that TIG machine looks insane. I'll show it on screen right now. Uh, geez, you guys, well done with this one. This is super, super cool. Um, it looks awesome. Every review, I haven't got a chance to try it myself. I would love to. Uh, maybe I will at some point here in the shop. But uh, anyways, go to their website, check that out. Uh, look at their TIG machine. It's called the MT200. It looks super badass, a super simple and straightforward TIG welding machine, which is my favorite. Everything I have here in my shop is super straightforward and just done really, really well. I like uh, good attention to detail. So I love seeing uh, the stuff from CK Worldwide innovating and doing something a little similar uh, as well as putting their own spin on it as well. It's awesome. So again, I've said it several times now, check out their website. Anyone that TIG welds is gonna lose their mind when they check out the website and see everything that they could buy. <laughs> So what did I get sent? This awesome little torch set up here is the CK9 and 17 style torches. So basically what they've done here is they've put uh, basically interchangeable torch heads on a nice little TIG line here. So this is a gas uh, cooled or air cooled, whatever you want to call it, uh, unit. It just hooks up to my air cooled machine or gas cooled again, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and what you want to do is you basically just interchange, uh, swap out these heads uh, for whatever uh, process you're doing. So this guy here, this is the 17 style torch, but this guy will probably be more for uh, suited for, I've used it for aluminum in my shop, uh, set up for some light gauge aluminum. Uh, you'll have to check the amperage rating for everything that you'll find from their website because each torch has an amperage rating. Uh, so check that out, be mindful. If you're gonna buy anything from their website, that you check the amperage rating for whatever it is you're going to be uh, purchasing. But again, like I said, this guy is the CK17 gas cooled, uh, very, very badass and very versatile uh, thing. I've used it for all my aluminum stuff in here for the most part. And again, like I said, I just use the same liner here. I just swap the head on it. Uh, you get a different size handle that works with it. The handle just slides over like that. It's the flex head. So you get a little bit of flexi in the head there. You can change your angle to get a little bit more comfortable. Uh, if you, depending on how you hold the torch, you may want a little bit more lean or anything like that on it. But again, you have the freedom to do that because this is a flex head torch. It's pretty sweet. The other one here, uh, this one I probably use the most. Uh, this torch, since they've given it to me, uh, geez, a month or so ago, a month and a half, uh, I've put, geez, probably close to 25 hours of arc time on this torch. Uh, I've done two arc projects with it now. But again, all you do is you just slide this dude down 
uh, and then you undo the torch there. And like I said, what we'll do is we'll do the demo with this one here first, and then we'll swap it out and we'll do a different process. But again, it's a flex head, so it's nice, especially when I'm doing my art pieces, my hand tends to get tired and I tend to lean my arm in different positions when I'm spending a lot of time leaned over a table like this. Um, so the flex head's nice, you can position it kind of more ergonomic to what your grip is gonna need to be doing for those passes. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's nicer than having a rigid uh, torch head for sure, because you have a little bit more freedom to kind of wobble around. So again, uh, another thing that I really like right off the bat is the, uh, the, the hose material that they use. It's like a really nice, flexible, and very light um, kind of rubber as well as nylon. I guess it would be like a braid uh, that's been wrapped around the rubber hose on the inside. Um, very light, it's very easy. It doesn't get caught on a lot of stuff. I don't have, I'm kind of stupid, I don't have a sheath or a cover, protective cover on this. But again, like I said, I just do my art pieces and stuff right here. I'm not draping them all over jigs and all kinds of different tables and setups and stuff like that. My machine's right here. I gotta travel like three or four feet to my table, not a big deal. Um, so yeah, I really get to feel how flexible this is because it just hangs in a loop over a hook on the edge of my table here. Um, and it's light, it's super light. I have a couple other torches here. I have another uh, different style, like CK9 type. It's done by a different company. But you definitely feel the weight difference. This guy's definitely more flexible. Uh, it's like, this is gonna sound weird. It feels a little more silky, <laughs> if that makes any sense. It's a lot more smooth, so that I genuinely feel like uh, when you're picking it up and like pulling it over your table and stuff like that, you don't feel a lot of drag, you don't feel a lot of weight. Uh, it tends to just slide over the edge of the table a little bit nicer. Um, I've been using it, like I said, for like 20 plus hours of arc time. Uh, there is no fraying of the braid. A lot of the time around the butt of the handle, you'll tend to notice that the braiding gets frayed right here, uh, which eventually will wear through and it'll pop. Uh, you'll have a, either a gas leak or a water leak if it's a water-cooled torch. But again, with these torches, these are super flexible, versatile, and so far it seems absolutely rock solid. So on this end, uh, you have your uh, power and your gas hookup basically so that your uh, gas will travel through. Uh, the port here, which just goes to a standard basic terminal into your TIG machine, and I'll plug it in in a second here so you can see how I do it. But heavier duty, like compared to my other whips that I have here, these are more heavy duty. They got like, they're beefier, they're built a little bit stronger, they got better They got better metal and bet, like different size metal for you to lock onto if you need to uh, change any fittings or anything like that. These are gonna be a lot stronger over time. You're not gonna probably skip a wrench off and, ding, and strip it or anything. I hope you don't. You're... But anyway, beefy, beefy stuff. Again, it's beefy where you need it to be. Uh, it's tough here. The braid is pretty tough, but overall still manages to keep a nice light profile. I don't know how much the whole thing weighs overall, but it's super light. It's a very, very simple setup, but again, it's a huge upgrade. Uh, I definitely notice a difference. With running this setup on my machine, I definitely, definitely notice a difference. So worth the investment for sure. Okay, so let's get set up here. I'm gonna throw this on my machine. Uh, you can see how I hook it up, and then uh, we'll just run uh, a pass with the CK9 torch first. I'll just do a little stainless pass on a piece of stainless plate I have right here. And then what we'll do is we'll swap it over and we'll put the CK17 torch on it, the other torch, and we'll do an aluminum weld. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm gonna be using my Canna Weld 201 Pulse D, super simple machine. Uh, I have a full review, it's like a half hour long. We do a bunch of demos and stuff and we break down this whole machine. I'll put the link in the description, you can check that out. Uh, I really enjoyed that one. It'll teach you a little bit more about this machine. Uh, but again, it's super simple. All I've done is I've just removed the standard torch that comes with it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap it out with our CK Worldwide torch here. So, like I said, it's a standard terminal. Just goes in like so. This is our input for our gas right here. Click, there we go. Again, big beefy, uh, you can't really see it because I have my foot pedal port in the way but it's, uh, it socks home really uh, really nicely. It's a pretty heavy duty little piece of hardware there. It locks in really nice. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we are gonna set up, I got my gear here for a little stainless torch setup. So we'll just go over a very quick setup and I'll show you what I'm using uh, to do this little demo here. Okay, so probably first thing I'll do is I'll throw my back cap on here. Shout out to Shea Spec. I'll put that on screen. <laughs> these, these back caps are super, super nice looking. Put that on first. Again, I'll make sure I leave this loose because we want our call it to sit all the way down in there. If we have our back cap wound in too much, all that's gonna happen is this guy is gonna butt against the uh, threads on the front of this back cap and it will not be seated all the way in. So we wanna make sure we get that in all the way. So I'm running a uh, wedge call it. 
wedge collets are awesome. This is a 332 setup that goes in there. Just tighten her up. And again, this is loose. This is tight. That means this is socked all the way in there. That's very important. Just give a little tiny squeak, hardly anything at all. Just a little bit more than finger tight. And then for a cup, what I'm going to be using here is I'll probably use a uh, number seven cup. This is from Edge. Uh, Edge cups. These are super, super nice cups. I really, really like these guys' stuff. But all they do is they send you this little adapter here. It's going to go over a standard gas lens. And these gas lenses you can get at CKA Worldwide. They pretty much work with almost any torch you can imagine. Uh, there is a different uh, style thread pattern for uh, your CK9 style torch as opposed to your 17 style torch. So if you're gonna buy any hardware, make sure your thread pattern is uh, suited to use in the torch that you're gonna be using it on. But like I said, once you get this guy in here, this thread pattern for the cup or whatever you're gonna put on it is universal. And Edge has this little adapter, just goes over and then your cup just goes over those O-rings, like so, boom. You put your tungsten in. This is another one from CK Worldwide they sent me. This is their laser tungstens. Uh, these are super, super nice. I've been using them on uh, all my art uh, TIG welding projects lately. And I gotta be honest, um, with a lot of things I use, there's like subtle differences um, that like maybe I would notice because I've been TIG welding for like almost, I don't know, 18 years or something like that, however you wanna call it. Um, these laser tungstens genuinely feel different. <laughs> When I arc up, I do notice that they arc up a lot smoother. Um, they tend to collect very little uh, contaminant over time. I've done art pieces where I've gone hours and hours without dipping. Uh, it's kind of miraculous sometimes because I get kind of shaky. <laughs> they stay cleaner longer, especially if you have a good gas system uh, in your torch. So whether it's from Edge or from CK Worldwide, uh, a good gas screen, a good gas lens is going to keep you uh, obviously shielded better. Uh, you're going to have a longer lasting tungsten life. Um, but yeah, these laser tungstens are super, super awesome. I definitely recommend check those out on their website. If you're doing a lot of stainless welding, especially if you're doing some stainless art pieces and you never tried those out, give them a whirl. You're going to love them. So now we got our torch set up. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I've got a piece of stainless. Uh, I did have some welding on it before. I just ground it off. Uh, it's been wire brushed, it's been hit with acetone, it's super clean. I'm just gonna run a little bead on it uh, and just so everybody who's watching can see the torch in action. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. Okay, so we're getting set up to weld here. I'll turn the machine on. So the nice thing about this machine is the fan turns off. You don't use it for a second and you just click it and it turns back on. Nice little feature. Okay, so here we go. Here is my plate. Uh, I'm not going to do anything wild. I'll just run a little bead uh, lengthwise or so and you can just kind of watch and yeah, see how it goes. All right, here we are. Let's go. Give us some post flow. There we go, nice and clean. So there we go, that is the weld I just did. Pretty simple, straightforward. Not the biggest or craziest weld in the world, but uh, 
yeah, uh, it was about a minute long, so my hand wasn't tired or anything like that. I, uh, yeah, just kind of let it go, see what happened. I used the foot pumping technique uh, with the pedal, no pulse or anything like that on my machine, but you can see it got basic gas coverage. Uh, I don't know, I like having a little bit of color on my welds because I do a lot of art stuff, but uh, that's what we're looking at there. We get a little bit of color. It's slightly a little bit warmer than I usually would let it uh, get if I wanted to keep it like a gold color. But anyway, that's, uh, yeah, that's a stainless weld right there. <laughs> Okay, so to swap it over, I've already removed the handle, pulled it down here, and then with a couple wrenches, you're just going to undo the little nut here. And then you take off the torch handle for that guy, put the torch handle for the other one on, and then you do this up like so. Pretty simple. Same thread pattern. You'll just tighten it up slightly, about that much. You don't want to tighten it too much because over time this is going to heat up. And uh, if it's uh, too tight over time, uh, as it gets uh, hotter and hotter and this is super, super tight, these threads will start to warp over time. So that's why you just want to do them tight enough that they're stronger than finger tight, not too loose that it's going to come apart or anything or have a gas leak or anything like that. There you go. Then you just slide your torch handle back up. Boom, you're ready to rock. So we'll go over uh, what hardware I'm going to put in this guy here. So again, back cap, uh, this is a back cap I made. It's pretty cool, pretty stoked on it. <laughs> and again, just in a little bit, we're gonna put our collet. Uh, this is a 332 collet. It's a different type of gas lens uh, setup that I use for aluminum. I prefer gas lenses for aluminum. Doesn't matter, everybody's got their own preference. They all have different advantages and disadvantages. But again, just a little bit more than finger tight, not too, uh, not too tight. We've got a Furic uh, number eight cup here. Uh, this is a ceramic or alumina type, uh, very very common, but these ones from Furic are really, really dope. Uh, check out Michael Furick's stuff. He makes great, great stuff. Okay, I got the wrong. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna switch this adapter that it came with with a different one so I can sit my cup a little bit flatter against it. This guy, I like it because you can run this gas lens setup and it will sit flat like so, and then you can get uh, your cup to sit a lot flatter and it will squish this whole thing together like so. And then a 332 tungsten with a slight ball on the end of it there. In it goes, tighten everything up. You're ready to rock. Okay, so let's get uh, the machine going here. Okay, so all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna uh, follow a line here and just run a little bead and we'll stop and take a look at it when it's done. Boom, nice. Let's stop and take a look. All right, so there's our weld that we just did there. Uh, overall, it looks pretty good. Uh, startup flickered a little bit, so we got a little bit more gas clouding or cleaning action, whatever you want to call it at the start there. But overall, everything organized itself pretty nicely. Uh, we got a nice straight weld there. As you can see, everything ran nice and clean. Looks pretty shiny, which is good. So overall, pretty sweet. Laid down nicely, and that was about the span of, I don't know, three or four minutes in between these two passes. So it was pretty simple. Like we just swapped it over and boom, we threw nice welds or at least somewhat nice welds down on two different processes with the same torch lead. Uh, we just swapped out the heads. So there we go. We just did uh, two different processes in the span of less than 10 minutes there. We both got good results or at least pretty good results with uh, what I was looking for. Um, but yeah, again, it was all off one torch lead. Uh, we didn't change anything as far as the torch lead itself. We just changed the torch head and the handle. That was it. And that's the cool thing about these uh, CK lines is that they're interchangeable, like I showed. You just swap them out. It took a matter, if you, especially if you got wrenches handy right next to you. You can literally have these guys switched out be running a different process in a matter of minutes. So it's pretty sweet. It's worth the money. Uh, obviously they hooked me up with this. I didn't pay for these, but again, I'm not getting paid to say any of this stuff. So if you didn't like it, I would definitely say. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I encourage you go to CK Worldwide's website, uh, check everything out on there. 
Um, shoot them a message on social media, say what's up, be nice to them because they were incredibly nice to me and uh, I can't thank them enough for being cool and uh, helping to support my channel with hooking me up with some gear and uh, showing it to everybody that watches the channel. So again, if you watch all the way to the end of the, uh, these episodes, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate hearing from everybody. Uh, if you would like, please, uh, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, and share, do all that stuff. It helps the channel grow. The more people that watch these videos, the more videos I'll make. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you haven't already, follow me on social media. There's my Instagram handle. Uh, hit me up on there, say what's up. Send me questions, uh, see if you got ideas for episodes or anything like that. Uh, send them to me through direct message on there. Um, I'm trying to read the comments on YouTube here. It's getting a little tricky because they're coming in pretty quick and I can't quite keep up with them all. I try and respond as much as I can, but um, it's, it's getting tricky. More people are watching the show, which I really appreciate. But if you really have something you'd like to hook, uh, hook up with me about, talk about uh, some ideas for episodes, uh, questions or anything like that, hit me up on Instagram through direct message. I will try and get to you as fast as I can. Again, also check out my website. My website's right there. I have an image gallery of all my art pieces on there. I'm gonna be having an online store uh, popping up on there in a little bit. Uh, you can read my TIG welding blog. I do a blog about TIG welding. We just talk about TIG welding related projects and what I'm up to here at my shop at my house, as well as uh, information on my online training program. Uh, do you wanna learn how to TIG weld? I teach people how to TIG weld online. It's been going pretty well so far. I'm really having a blast doing it with the students that are currently enrolled. So if you wanna learn more about that, head to my website, shoot me an email, uh, and I'll tell you more about it. But aside from that, I really appreciate everybody that watches these videos. I hope you enjoy them. They're a lot of fun for me to make. So uh, if anybody out there gets value from them, I really uh, I love hearing that again thank you so much for watching especially if you watch all the way to the end that's really cool uh, I hope you have a good one do something nice for a stranger uh, write something nice to someone random online today spread some positivity and yeah thanks a lot for watching have a good one peace